Hello Journey Kids, I hope you are all doing well. It's December and you know what that means, right? Yes, Christmas is around the corner and I cannot wait. You know, the most important thing about Christmas is presents, right? No, you're right friends. Christmas presents are fun um, and they're fun to get, but that's not the most important part of Christmas. Hmm. So what is the most important part of Christmas? Is it um, the Christmas carols that we sing? Hmm, no. What about the delicious food that we get to eat? No. Friends, the most important thing about Christmas is Jesus. Jesus is the reason for the season. You know, we wouldn't even celebrate Christmas if it wasn't for Jesus being born, right? Right. So friends, before we jump into our lesson for today, let us jump up and get ready to sing and dance to Jesus and worship him this morning. God's story, generosity. So part of God's story is about how he wants us to be generous. And it goes like this. Being generous means sharing what you have. It's something God has always asked his followers to do. Remember how God built a special family called the Israelites? They were his very first followers. He taught them what to do by giving them laws, like giving 10% of everything they had back to God. That's called tithing. God even said to test him. If they obeyed and were generous with what he gave them, he would give them exactly what they needed. 
See, God is generous, and He wants us to be like Him. He sent His greatest treasure, His Son Jesus, to earth. Jesus left the kingdom of heaven and gave up His life to rescue us so that one day we can be a part of God's kingdom and live in it with Him forever. Basically, Jesus gave up everything for us. Anyway, when Jesus was here, He showed us even more about being generous. In fact, Jesus said we can not only give a tithe, but we can give way more than that. We can give thirsty people water and hungry people food. We can visit people who are lonely and pray for people who are hurting. He did that all the time. He said when we do that, it's like we're giving to Him. Jesus actually told us when we're generous, we show Him we love Him. He said, your heart will always be where your treasure is. That's a fancy way of saying you spend your money on what you care about. In the Bible, one day, a rich guy came up to Jesus and asked what he could do to live forever in God's kingdom. Jesus said, go and sell everything you have. Give the money to those who are poor. You will have treasure in heaven. Then come and follow me. Jesus wants us to follow him with our whole hearts and care about him more than anything. Unfortunately, the man went away sad because he couldn't put his treasure in heaven. He loved the stuff he had on earth too much. Another time, Jesus watched people give offerings at the temple. One woman only put in a few small coins, but Jesus told his disciples, that poor widow has put more into the offering box than all the others. They all gave a lot because they are rich, but she gave even though she is poor. She put in everything she had. That was all she had to live on. The widow gave everything to Jesus, just like Jesus gave everything to us. Like the rich guy and the poor widow, all of us have different ways we can give. The Bible actually says we should give what we want. After all, God loves a cheerful giver. When we share joyfully with others, we're showing love to God. Our generosity shows Jesus how much we love Him, just like His generosity shows how much He loves us. And that's the story of generosity. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. God asks us to be generous. He wants us to be like Him. God sent Jesus to us. Jesus gave up his life. Jesus showed us how to give. We give to things we care about. The rich guy cared about his stuff. The poor woman cared about Jesus. Jesus cares about us. We can love Jesus back by being generous. And that's a part of God's story. Friends, today's lesson has to do with the way that Jesus wants us to live. It's a lesson in generosity. Now, that's quite a big word, hey? Do you know what it means? Generosity is like the opposite of being selfish. It's being happy to give, whether it's giving your time, your money, your food, or your kindness to people in need. When you show generosity, you might give away money or give away things or put others before yourself. Friends, have you ever had someone be generous towards you? Like maybe a friend had a delicious sandwich at school and that day you happened to forget your lunch at home. And imagine that friend shared and half their sandwich with you. Now that's being generous, right? And that's a good friend. Or maybe your sister or your brother gave you some of their tuck money because you left yours at home. Now that would be generous. That would make them generous. They gave away something and put you before themselves. Now friends, Jesus was very generous. And that's why he wants you and he wants me to be generous too. God wants us to focus not on what we can get, but on what we can give to others. 
He wants us to care for the needs of others, especially those who have less than we do. God also promises to bless those who take care of others. Friends, you know, when we are generous, it honors God. It makes him so happy. When we are good to others, it is as though we are being good to God himself. When we are generous to others, it's as if we're being generous to God. And when we ignore others, it's as though we are neglecting or forgetting or ignoring God. Friends, we heard the story of the rich young ruler in the video today. This story is found, obviously, in the Bible, in Matthew 19, verse 16 to 30. Now, what did Jesus tell this rich young ruler to do? That's right. He told the rich young ruler to sell all that he has and give it to the poor. And did the rich young ruler do that? No. He loved his treasure and all of his things that he had more than he loved Jesus. And this made Jesus sad. Remember, when we are generous, we honor God and show him that he is the most important in our lives. Wow, look at this massive present, friends. Oh my goodness. Friends, do you get excited when you get presents? Of course, it's always fun to get presents. But friends, remember what we mentioned right at the beginning today? Christmas is not actually about the presents, right? But it's actually about Jesus. Friends, do you think you need more toys? Or do you think you want more toys? Yes, that's right. Things like toys are wants. They are not things that we really, really need, right? I mean, it's nice to receive presents, but we can live without them. On the other hand, we need Jesus and we can't live without him. And Jesus would want us to be more concerned about giving than about getting. So friends, this Christmas, instead of only being concerned about what you can get, why don't you think about what you can give and about how you can give to others? How can you bless someone who doesn't have a lot? Or how can you help and serve someone this Christmas season? Now that is living like Jesus. And that is the true spirit of Christmas. Our memory verse for today is Acts 20 verse 35. It is more blessed to give than to receive. Well, we're done for today, friends. Remember, God calls us to be generous people. He is a generous God and he loves, loves, loves seeing you and I give to others. And you will soon realize that it actually makes your heart much happier to give than to get. When we are generous, God gives us joy in return. Friends, remember to stay tuned for our questions with family, where you and your family can sit down and chat together and discuss and learn about what we have learned today in our lesson. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you that you are so generous towards us. You gave up everything so that we could have life. And Lord, I pray today that you would teach us to be more like you, to give to others, to put others ahead of ourselves, and to be generous. Amen. Well, Journey Kids, we'll see you again next week. Have a wonderful week. And remember to be generous. <laughs>